I am a big fan of plasticulture production whenever Aurora has that option. It does make things simpler for weed management and certain other production practices. There are things to be concerned with, however, if you do use plasticulture, particularly with herbicides. Some herbicides, if they drift onto the plastic, do not break down through sunlight or heat. So they require microbial action to break down so that they're not toxic to the plant. And if they do drift onto the plastic in a rain event or an overhead irrigation event, they can wash into the planting hole, injuring your plant. We have four different watermelon plants here, and I attempted to illustrate what would happen with a drift situation. With your normal plant, you have nice, healthy foliage. The leaves are appropriate size, larger leaves, the older leaves down to the smaller new leaves. The plant adjacent to it, I attempted to mimic 2,4-D drift in this situation. And you can see that the older leaves are smaller, crinkled, and they may resemble something like a uh, virus. But it was not a fire situation. This was 2,4-D. 2,4-D is a compound that will tend to volatilize. If you have homeowners near you that are trying to manage broadleaf weeds in their lawn early in the season, uh, you can get situations like that uh, happening. But one thing that helps you determine that is as the plant gets older, leaves tend to grow out of it and are more normal sized again. So that's one thing that will help us to identify that. Uh, plants tend to grow out of it. The plant adjacent to it, you have some bleaching on the leaves right at the edge. This is characteristic of photosynthetic uh, inhibiting herbicide. In this case, it was chromosome. Uh, we attempted to mimic drift onto plastic with this situation. That bleaching around the leaf edges is very characteristic. Uh, sometimes you see some spotting, though, that if it's a very light drift situation, you see some crinkling and some bleaching, you might start to think that that's a nutritional deficiency. So again, it's always important to look at what happens, but you can see that the older leaves have grown out of it and they're healthy looking in the case. So that's one thing that helps to determine that. Um, this plant, uh, this actually had ethyl perlin, uh, commonly known as turbot in vegetable production. Again, you have the Crinkling of the leaves that would be characteristic of a virus situation, but it was rolled out of it again. So, plastic culture is a good weed management option for growers, but you do have to be very careful when you apply herbicides that it doesn't drift onto the plastic. So, always apply at low pressures under conditions when it's not windy, look for low pressures, large droplets, and that will minimize your potential injury to your crop.